We went to visit one of the world's smallest cities, Fürstenau, and hang out with Andreas Caminata in his backyard. Andreas is one of the two best chefs in Switzerland, having three Michelin stars, his own little castle, and a world famous restaurant. He is part of the slow food movement, making such beautiful food that his restaurant has a waiting list for about two months at any time of the year. At the beginning it was just cooking, you know, and at the day off time it was snowboarding and cooking was cooking, you know, not more. And then at later stage I just felt, okay, there is much more. This is a big, huge world where you can uh, be very creative. And so I, I had quite early this feeling to, to do my own restaurant because I just wanted to express myself over cooking or over dishes. So after a while you try to, to find a known way, a known style of cooking, you know, a known style of presenting the dish. And then it's just a development. The team is growing and then you have some influence, you look what's going on in the world. But I always try to, to keep my, my own style, but all of those influences you need to take in as well. Why do you think the whole industry is changing like that? I think this is the responsibility from a chef or from, from people who work with products to just look what it's around, you know. I, I love to cook with curry and I sometimes like yuzu. I also have those products sometimes, but I also like to have the potatoes from here and combine it with something which is from far away, but because I also want this flexibility to cook how I feel, but the whole gastronomy is changing completely just because of the trend as well, going back to the roots and back to the surroundings. Like from my restaurant in Copenhagen, he's just very back to original. He doesn't take any coffee, he doesn't take any product who is farther away than maybe 35 to 40 kilometers. So he's very radical into this. And this is a huge influence in the whole gastronomy. For me, slow food is just like a, the opposite of fast food. You know, taking care of where is the product coming from, how are they treated, you know the farmers, the, the, the people behind the products. It's your base, you need to have good products and the good products are coming from good producers. And I think, you know, I started 10 years ago, so, but even now we are still in a stage where we have to take in other products who are not just out of the region. But we try to do, and that tried this since, since the beginning. And do you have like certain ingredients or a way that it's like something favorite for you to cook that you enjoy the most? I think for me it's important to have this complete experience. I love to cook with uh, basic stuff like potatoes. But we have different kind of potatoes from the region. And you see they are not perfect, you know. Usually you won't find them in the store, but you find them uh, from the farmer. He's a crazy guy. He, he has the relationship with the farmers, like the people that give this stuff. Is it good? Yeah, it's good, yeah. The first time is you want you want to produce, search for a producer. And then you get to know him and then it turns into friendships and and they just know what we want and it's nice. So, so what's, the, what's the story with the place here? Like you just... I took it over 10 years ago. Huh? I could rent the whole building. And uh, before it used to be a school, actually. And then it's, it was empty for a year and then we could talk, we took it over then. And you have a magazine as well? Yeah, we have a mag. I launched the magazine last year. And this is also a project like taking in some, some people from, from the region, like, like artists, like architects, like... And this is a big inspiration as well. If you if you meet them or if you talk to them, they have also visions and and you can also produce it into your work. You know, like an architect, what's the thinking of him? Is it the, the people around? Is it the landscape or whatever? Do you think the local trend is coming through because of this whole sustainability thing, or do you think it just tastes better? It tastes better, sure. Yeah. Because it's just fresher. The the ways are shorter. Everything, you know the producer, you know the farmer, you know the, the butcher. When, when the fennel is ready, we cook the fennel. When the fennel is gone, okay, there is no fennel anymore. So we don't have to go and have a look. So we just change the menu. Yeah. So it's like a close contact with the people yeah. that provide. Exactly. Do you have something in particular that inspires you? I think there is, everything inspires. And this, this can be the people, there can be a building, there can be a, a, a route, there can be a, I think you just have to walk through the world with open eyes and then it's everything an inspiration. I think 